Let's take it to the nation's capital, where youths are demanding unconditional release of NSAS protesters detained last year. Our correspondent, Abid Alawal, followed the protesters from the unit of Fountain to the National Assembly and now reports. Exactly today in 2020, Nigeria witnessed an almost total breakdown of law and order. A protest birthed by a case of police brutality and extrajudicial killings took a turn for the worse. It's been one year and there's still visible anger among Nigerian youths. Here in the Federal Capital Territory, this youth movement is commemorating the day with a protest to the National Assembly to make demands. The protesters moved from the Unity Fountain but were stopped by security agents on a major road in front of the Ministry of Justice. While they chanted in solidarity, the security agents remained unmoved and did not budge from their positions. Major roads were blocked, causing a traffic gridlock. The protesters insisted on making their demands known to the leadership of the National Assembly, asking for the unconditional release of protesters that were detained last year. You can see that this protest is well organized. Nigerians are determined to carry out their message in a confident manner. But unfortunately, the police are looking for opportunity to escalate the process. We are saying that there's a need for us to meet the legislators. There's a need for us to meet people at the National Assembly. They first have the responsibility to make laws and to checkmate people in the executive. The police brutality and rascality is becoming too much. Beyond that also is the, is the character of injustice and impunity all over the country. We we are asking the police to do their duties, which is to accompany us as dutiful officers of law to the National Assembly to meet with lawmakers. And they are insisting that we must remain here or go back to, they say we must go back to Unity Unity. Our idea from the beginning was to start from the Unity Fountain as a convergence zone and go to the National Assembly where the lawmakers who need to hear from Nigerians. On the other hand, another group of protesters is alleging that the government should not be blackmailed and necessary reforms should be allowed within the police force. The president has graciously met all the demands by the NSAS protesters. And today you agree with me that there was a report of police brutality along Kogi State. The police president has already been arrested and is being investigated by the Inspector General of Police. How much more do you expect of a working system than to prosecute offenders? From the early hours of today in Abuja, there has been a heavy deployment of security agents across the city in a strong show of force to ensure law and order is maintained. The right to protest is under the purview of the Constitution of Section 38 of the 1999 Nigerian Constitution. Habib Dalawal, TVC News, Abuja.